up y'all welcome back to my channel and if you're new here what's up nice to meet you as you can see from the title today what we're going to be talking about is making mini vlogs for tiktok this is how i enjoy doing it and i hope you all find this video very informative so yeah let's get straight into it and don't forget to subscribe Alright guys, so this is how I get my dark aesthetic. So I literally just pull up my camera, press on the camera or on the screen and pull down the brightness. And yeah, that's how you get the dark aesthetic. <laughs> y'all so this is where we get into the nitty-gritty the editing so what I like to do first is and I highly recommend you all to do this but make a little folder for your mini vlog clips it's going to help you see what what all clips you have so much better so that's kind of the first thing I go over um, after I do that, I go into the TikTok app and what I do is I just scroll. Um, I scroll, I look for sounds if I don't already have them in my favorites. Um, and then I go to my favorites and I just kind of go through the sounds that I already have that I like. Because that's really what I do on TikTok. I really just look for sounds outside of watching people videos. So here you're just going to see me going through the sounds um just listening to all of them trying to see which one best best fits the vibe of the clips that i have that's why i say create that folder so that you can see what kind of clips you have and get a vibe for your video so that's what you'll see me doing now and um just listen to the clips and this is the one that i ended up with All right, for the sake of the video, I stopped the sound because <laughs> it's a little inappropriate. But what I'm doing here now is I'm going ahead and selecting the clips that I want for my mini vlog. So that's what I do first. I kind of select the clips in order of how I went with the day or the order I want them to fall in. Um, now, I am going to talk about another way I learned how to edit just yesterday, but I am a tiktok do it all girl i literally record the clips i create the brightness how i want and i let tiktok edit it to the music so i don't do any of that yet but as you can see what i'm doing right here is literally what i just said i take each clip and i because in each clip i try to do a lot of things um, a lot of different transitions so i take the part of the clip that i want so i go to adjust clips and i just take the part of the clip that i want from the full video um, to make it look aesthetically pleasing and i just keep watching it back like that's literally all that you're doing you are picking the portion of the video that you want, you let it play to see if it goes well with that part of the music. And yeah, you do that for every single clip. Um, and that's why it's important when you're recording these clips to record it in different ways, like different angles. Um, you do different things in the video. You see here, like I kind of swung my hair at the beginning. I kind of smirked in the middle and I think I'm gonna put the part where I kind of smirk. Um, so yeah, it's about when you're, the work is really when you're recording the clips. So you have to make sure you get things that when you do actually put the video to the music, it's going to, it's going to look seamlessly like, you know, it's not going to look, even though it's choppy and that's kind of the point of the mini vlogs is because you're doing a lot in, you know, you're doing a lot in one day, you're doing a lot at one time, even though it's choppy, it should flow. Um, and that's really the hardest thing about it is when you're recording your clips, you got to make sure you're getting good clips because if you get, you know, 
crap like it's gonna look like crap when you put it all together so like I said just going back um looking at what I was doing you see here I'm looking at what I did in that full video to see which part of the video looks more aesthetically pleasing to me um and I kind of do like the little my thing is like the little um round kind of transition if you could see in the video all of my videos I kind of got like a little you know like a little round thing going um, here is when I go ahead and I edit uh, the text. So I use the same text every single time. I don't know how to pronounce that word, but it's serif. <laughs> and I always make the duration of the text 1.0. So that way it's always at the beginning of the video and it doesn't fall through the video. Now, with the new way that I learned how to edit the text, I am probably going to keep it throughout the full video now. And I'm going to, I learned it from a YouTuber. Her name is Kyle Lachey, and I'm going to put her video down below. But I put the main text, which is the mini vlog, um, and then I put whatever I'm doing, like whatever the vlog is, like weekend in my life, I put it directly under it and I put it in the middle of the frame and then I make both of the durations of them uh, 1.0 so that they can be gone at the same time. But that's literally all that it is, y'all. TikTok does most of the work for you <laughs> and this is how it came out. All right, you guys, last but not least, I did want to go ahead and talk about this app that I learned from the YouTuber Kyla Shea. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but the app is called CapCut. Um, I feel like this is going to be the next level up. You know, if you want to go to the next step with your editing, I feel like I'm there. I feel like you all will be there after you watch this video. <laughs> so yeah, you can see I, I haven't played around in it, but I wanted to introduce that to you all and I'm going to link her video below. Um, overall, I hope that you all really enjoyed this video. It was very fun to record. I hope it was informative. Don't forget to subscribe and leave some like and comments. See you all in the next one.